Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a visual chart. You're seeing this video because you have completed all of the lessons of our first chapter. So I wanted to say congratulations and tell you to keep up the good work. You're tearing it up. Okay, now, because you've completed this first chapter, that means you it's time for you to take the first test. <laughs> Lucky ducky. So to help you prepare for this first test, we've learned a lot. So it's really a good idea before you take any test to sit down and organize your thoughts. In this class, we're going to require you to do this by making a visual chart. This visual chart is basically a, a cheat sheet that you're going to get to create. Um, however, you're not going to get to use on the test. Now, some people would say, oh, why would I create a cheat sheet if I don't get to use it on the test? Well, creating something visual will allow you to, to better organize those thoughts and remember what you have learned, summarize this one last time before you go and take the test. So let's show you what we want you to do to create a visual chart. Visual charts can create it, be created uh, two ways. First of all, you can just rip out a sheet of paper. Ha <laughs> ha! And, uh, or you can do this digitally if you want to use Microsoft Word or something like that and uh, create it uh, on the computer. That would work as, as well. What we want you to do is divide the piece of paper up into however many sections there were in the chapter. So I'm dividing this into eight sections. Let's say that there was chapter 1.1 and 1.2 and 1.3. And we want you to label each of the boxes for each section that there was uh, in the chapter. Perfect. After that, we're going to want you to take and put all the important information that you learned uh, from each of the sections into these boxes. Now, you can get this information from your notes. You can get it from the past videos that you've learned. You can even use the textbook uh, and the information, like maybe from each of the chapters in the textbook, to help you fill this chart in. We want you to put the most important information, the information that you would maybe forget on the test, so that you're organizing this all right before you go and take it. You can, incl uh, you can include steps, you can include formulas, you can include examples uh, in these boxes all to help you out. So maybe in section one you learn an important formula. So you can write that formula down and then include an example of that question so that you do one right before the test. Maybe in 1.2 you learn some important steps on how to solve some problems. So maybe list out those four steps and include an example again. Uh, maybe in section three, you learn some important formulas about shapes. So um, you can write those out and write out those formulas. Anyway, you're going to do this for each of the sections until this sheet is nice and filled with all the most important information that you have learned. So here's an example of what uh, one student did. Notice uh, broke the paper up into nice. This person used color. Great idea. I love how uh, she used stars to kind of uh, help her remember the key things of uh, that chapter. So yours can look like that. Uh, if you've got something similar to that, that's, that's great. Um, that's the idea of the visual chart. Now, you're going to want to, some people don't want to spend too much time on this, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you one thing. In this course, uh, you're not allowed to use the visual chart on the chapter test. However, at the very end of the semester, when we have our final exam, we will allow you to use all of the visual charts you've created on that final exam. So please, please, please work hard on this. Stay organized. Keep it really nice because these will come in use uh, again at the end of the chapter uh, when we allow you to use them on the final exam. Okay, well, that's the visual chart. Can't wait to see what you get. And uh, good luck. And we'll uh, see, you, see you online.